Good evening, I hope everyone's all right. It's Thursday, 22nd of February. I tell you, it's bloody wetter out there. Do you know what it's wetter than? It's wetter than R. Kelly's basement, that's what it is. Anyway, I've got soaking wet coming home from work. I just thought I'd do a quick video. I read on Deadline website that Anchor Bay is making a comeback. Anchor Bay DVD, one of the premier DVD labels back in the day, um, personally, that was one of my favourite labels. I'm just going to put it out there straight away. It, it was They were a prime label. They were really good. Um, yeah, they, there's two guys. They're forming, um, I think it's called Umbrellic Entertainment. Fingers crossed they're going to keep the old Anchor Bay logo. That's what we want. Um, we want that old school feel. Um, and I hope they don't make as many F-ups as Anchor Bay did, because Anchor Bay, they did make a few screw-ups where stuff was cut and they had to reissue discs and stuff like that, but they did do good movies. They put out Giallo box sets, they put out horror, they put out exploitation, they put out the works. They done some really good stuff, and then they started over here as well. I don't know if it was part of the same company, I presume that it was. Um, but I, for me, how they kind of not went off the beaten track, kind of like a lot of companies here at the moment, uh, in America and here, are, are making a little bit of a fuck up. Like Arrow, releasing 4Ks after the Blu-rays and DVDs. Now I know there's a business model, don't get me wrong, I do know there's a business model. Um, and these companies, they have to, you know, they've still got the rights to these movies, so they're gonna reissue the 4Ks. But it, it's kind of a kick in the bollocks um, to the fan, you know, fans of the labels, you know. And who wants to keep upgrading, you know? And uh, and Anchor Bay was they was one of the first companies to keep reissuing Evil Dead, Dawn of the Dead, uh, Evil Dead Two. They kept reissuing and reissuing um, stuff rather than focusing on new Jellos or horror or anything like that. So where Anchor Bay needs to go with this, they need to go in at a nice price point. They need to re they need to do don't do reissues. Just put out new content, release old classics that we want to see that are not issued on like Shout Factory or Arrow, because I mean that they'd be shooting themselves in the foot if they start doing stuff like that, re, you know, reissuing stuff that Arrow have done, or 88 Film, or Shout Factory, or Vinegar Syndrome, that's where they're going to go wrong. It needs to be cheap, it needs to be either DVD, Blu-ray, 4K, whatever you're going to focus on. I think their first, their first um, release is My Dinner with Leatherface, or something like that, Dinner with Leatherface, or Cut of tea with Leatherface. I'll put the article down below so you can read it for yourself. It's on Deadline, um, Deadline, it's called Deadline.com. Um, so fingers crossed they come in with a good price point. And on that note, I'm gonna show you some of my Anchor Bay um, discs. I haven't got a lot left, because obviously I upgraded, <laughs> put on, uh, or upgraded, or just got rid of them, but they've done a lot of great, amazing stuff. So I'm hoping, if you're watching Anchor Bay, that you put out some great, unreleased horrors, giallos, thrillers, exploitation that no one else ever has. It, 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 uh, that's where you're gonna get your fans, especially at a good price point. We don't want fucking fancy slip cases and boxes. We just want good films, fully uncut, and, and at a good price. Anyway, I'm gonna show you some of my Anchor Bay stuff. So, we're in my bedroom, and um, yeah, as you can tell, I've got stuff in here as well. Um, sorry for the echo, I haven't got a lot of stuff in here. I like to keep my place pretty minimal. These are all Anchor Bay tins. They, these are reissues. Sleeping Corpses Lie, The Beyond, Maniac, Two Lane Blacktop, Evil Dead 2, and I've got me signed Wicker Man. They've done some great discs. This is one of my favourites. The Old Bad Taste, this is limited edition. It's got good, good taste, made bad, made bad taste. It's got the uh, lenticular cover. They've done Jallo box set. Who saw a die? Bloody Iris, Glass Dolls, Bloodstained Shadow. Bloodstained Shadow is in the in the latest Vinegar Syndrome box set. You know they've done some really good stuff. They released spaghetti westerns. This has got uh, Bullet for a General. 
Compañeros, 4D Apocalypse, Kioma, all that. It's just great stuff. Jack Catchem, The Girl Next Door. You see, th these ain't been reissued. Some of my favourite box sets are coming up here. These, the, you know, some of these have been re um, reissued on Vinegar Syndrome, but you've got the Cheerleaders, three disc box set. You know, just great. Just great exploitation. Um, this one's just come out on Vinegar Syndrome. We'll have reissued it a couple of times, but this is the original three disc set. Um, it opens right out. I'm not, I can't open it up, but I'll, I'll do it one time. They released this, Michael Mann's Manhunter. This is a limited edition. It's got the two different cuts on there. Remember when they done Suspiria? Yeah, with that old THX logo. You can't go wrong with this. It's got a soundtrack in there as well. <clears throat> this is a classic one. The Emmanuel Collection. It's just a great set. I can't show you inside. I'm sure it's got some nudity in there, but it's... Just great. They was the first ones to do class of Nuke and I. You know, this wasn't classed as a slipcase. This this was just a dust cover. They they called these dust covers back in the day. I don't know where this whole slip cover thing come into it. This is quite a rare one. This has got the TV version of Halloween on there. It's one of the only um sets that I know has got the full TV version. Um it's got a holographic uh, lenticular cover. But yeah, it's got the full TV print. It's not some, you know, tacked on bit. It's actually fully in there. They released the awesome movies, Wicked Walden. I know these are coming out on Keena Lorber, but these were my favourites. She Wolf of the SS, Harem Keeper of Oil Sheiks. Alice Sweet Alice. Brilliant. You got a couple, these are a couple of UK ones. Dawn of the Mummy, that ain't had a reissue, but I know that Treasured Films is putting it out. Alligator took one and two. They done Hills Have Eyes. Hey, what about this? Chrome Skull. Later Rest 2. Just great. And Later Rest, this is the unrated director's cut. This is a great one that they put out. De this definitely needs a reissue, probably 4K or something with the two different. Um, you need the dub and the subtitles, but. Yeah, baby blood. They done comedies like this, Night Patrol, some Argento, Cat and Nine Tails, Chud, Cannibalistic Humanoid Underground Dwellers. They put this out in the UK with a soundtrack, Long Good Friday. I know that's had a reissue somewhere. Vice Squad, Gary Sherman. All right, it's not got the TV cut on there. I'd like the long version where he's whipping with the with the old. Uh, coat hanger that's the one we want with the longer yeah silent night deadly night part one and two kentucky fried movie look at these all oh, great great movies that they put out visiting hours autopsy vinegar syndrome put that out but you, let me tell you they put this out a long time before them warning sign dead and breakfast and then i've got a few more down here We've got uh, Werewolf Shadow, Curse uh, Curse of the Devil, Grace. Again, not a slip cover. This is not a slip. This is a dust cover. You know, to stop it, stop it getting sun bleached. You know, this is a great thriller. If you've never seen it on on Anchor Bay, I don't know if it's had a reissue on Kino Lulba or something like that. It's a uh, the Killing Hour. Brilliant film. If you've never seen this, I am. It's, it's one of my recommendations out of this bunch. I've got two recommendations. Oh, well, maybe three or four actually. But yeah, this is a brilliant film. If if it's been reissued on Blu-ray or whatever, just check it out. Um, that's the director, Armand Mastarakis or whatever his name is. Is it Mastarakis? But yeah, it's just great. The Johnsons, another one that needs a reissue. Brilliant Dutch film, you know, um, story by, what's his name, from Street Trash, who done Street Trash. Uh, just, just great, just a great little thriller horror. Again, um, Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry, I know it's had a, a Blu-ray issue. One of my favourite horrors, Peter Fonda, Warren Oates, 
you've got to love a bit of Warren Ace. Race with the Devil. I know this has been reissued on Blu-ray. I think I think that's a double feature on um, uh, Blu-ray, if I remember rightly. Um, we've got Cockfighter. That was a film that got us thrown out of the cinema. But yeah, I've, I've kept the old Anchor Bay disc. Here, are. Here you go. Demons 1 and 2, signed by the pimp himself, Bobby Rhodes. But yeah, these were the additions. Got the old THX logo on there and everything. It's great. Shock, Mario Barber. This I know. Uh, uh, Mario Barber and Lamberta Barber done this. Um, but yeah, this is at a reissue on Arrow. I just watched this recently. Um, Bad Boys. This was great. I mean, it looked good on DVD. To be honest, um, I watched that about a month ago. This was one of the discs that they screwed up with, but this this is a great addition. Um, Terror at the Opera, aka Opera. The you, the reason why you can tell it's the reissue is it's got version 2.0. They had to give me the second disc of this. So if you are looking for the old Anchor Bay one, it's got a soundtrack with it. It's got version 2.0 on it. Near Dark. Thou shalt not kill except Antichrist. This was the longest version. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it still is because I haven't checked the new Blu-ray. And uh, yeah, this was the longest print at, at one stage. They've done this Halloween as well. This was when they become Anchor Bay Stars Entertainment. But this, yeah, this is the book. My, this was a gift for me, Halloween. Superstition, absolute classic. Brilliant horror film. This I don't know why this ain't had a, a re, an issue in in the UK. Definitely needs one. Mountain of the Cannibal God. I know that's had a Blu-ray issue in the states. I think on Code Red, but this was the longest print at the time. This was the longest version. Um, they found the print, put it out, and yeah. And last but not least, I've got Delirium. This just come out on Minigas Syndrome, but this has got the two different cuts on it as well. I don't think I've got any other Anchor Baylor ones. Let me just scour the shelves quickly. I might have some in, in, in the den of filth. Oh, this was an Anchor Bay one as well. This is a UK Anchor Bay. It's limited edition as well. Uh, Evil Dead collection. And it's got the uh, Jonathan Ross show on there as well. But yeah, they they were the the premier ones back in the, in the day, and like I said, still got plenty more to go. You know, Blue Underground. They're another company that kind of reissue stuff as well. Um, but yes, I will have a look in the other room, see if there is any other Anchor Bay. I don't think there is, but yeah, Anchor Bay come making the comeback. Read the article, and um, let's hope they get it right this time around. Anyway, take care, everyone, and I'll see you later on.